video, I'll demonstrate how to convert a VMware VMDK file to a Hyper-V VHD file. Now to get started, the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the Microsoft Virtual Machine uh, Converter 3.0 utility from Microsoft's uh, download site. Uh, so you can go to the download site and just do a search on that. You can see here I do have the page up in front of me and there is a download link. Now I've already downloaded this uh, and basically what's going to get downloaded is you will get an installer file that you can run and it'll install a bunch of PowerShell commandlets on your system that'll allow you to convert you know virtual machines from uh, VMware to uh, Hyper-V. So I've already done the download. Now let me show you what gets downloaded. If I go to my folder structure here, so I've already downloaded the um, uh, the program. So here we have the setup program. It's the MSI file. They do have a document that kind of explains a lot of the commandlets that do exist um, that you can leverage to convert VMware virtual machine files to, uh, to Hyper-V. Uh, so I've already run the setup program and that installs the PowerShell commandlets on the system. So let me go into my PowerShell prompt and the first thing that you do after you run the installation is in the PowerShell prompt you want to load in those virtual machine converter modules uh, so use the import module commandlet and then specify the path to where the program got installed so get installed the program files backslash Microsoft virtual machine converter backslash and then the commandlets are in MV MVMC commandlet dot PSD one. So I hit enter. So that imports the commandlets into the system so that I can now leverage those commandlets and convert virtual machine files. So if I do a get module here it'll show all the modules that are currently loaded and you can see I do have the uh, Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter commandlets loaded. Now that I have those commandlets loaded now I can look to converting a um, virtual machine disk file or sorry a VMware disk file to a Hyper-V disk file. So I'm going to use the uh, convert to can use my tab keystroke. Um, like I said, there's lots of um, there's lots of you commandlets here. You can actually convert if you wanted to um, physical computers to virtualized uh, uh, machines. Um, so they do have commandlets for that as well. So in my case, I'm just looking to go and convert the uh, virtual hard disk. Here we go. So convert to um, the Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter Virtual Hard Disk Commandlet. I specify the source file uh, with the source literal, literal path. Now this points to the actual uh, VMDK file from VMware. So in my case, it's, it's a huge path. So C users and E, get it in my documents. machines. Now because I have spaces in my path I put quotes around the whole path and Java underscore Windows space 7 backslash Java underscore. So this is a virtual machine that I use for some Java stuff so I'm going to convert that. So there's a disk1.vmdk file that I want to convert. So then I specify the VHD type. So I do want to create a dynamic hard disk versus a fixed hard disk because it is just a kind of a test system that I'm running on. Uh, the VHD format that I want to use is going to be a VHDX to support the larger disk sizes instead of a VHD file. And then the destination folder that I want to write this to destination will be c colon backslash my converted disk. So I hit enter. And 
and there we go. So it started the conversion process. Now this is a, a fairly large uh, VMDK file, so it's probably about um, 17 to 20 gigs. So it will take um, a little bit of time to convert. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'll resume it once it completes. You can see that after some time, the convert command has created my Java Windows 7 disk1.vhdx file in my My Converted Disk folder. So in this video, you've seen how to convert a VMware disk to a Hyper-V disk file.